Can you imagine being a scientist and understanding how to control the growth of the eye with an optical device? I mean, that's, that's what science is all about. Myopia is progressing at such a rapid rate that in some countries in Asia, for example, Taiwan, 83% of 18-year-old girls are short-sighted. We're talking about a massive increase in myopia. Even in the United States, figures have just come out to show that myopia has doubled in the last 20 years. Myopia is a condition whereby vision is blurred. And the reason vision is blurred is because the image is focused in front of the retina, not on the retina itself. And basically this is a problem of the eye growing too long. And when that happens, of course, the image is out of focus. And the other consequence of myopia is with very high myopia, the eye grows very long and that stretches the contents of the eye. And with that growth comes the risk also in high levels of myopia of eye conditions such as cataract and glaucoma and retinal deterioration. So there is a, a serious health problem with high levels of myopia. That's why it is of concern. But even in low levels of myopia, children struggle at school. And, and sadly, they don't realise that they've got a problem with their vision. They think other children are seeing the same as they are. By the year 2020, we expect to have 2.5 billion myopic people on the planet. This very rapid increase in myopia is brought about by two factors. The two main influences are the genetics of the child. Are their parents myopic? Two myopic parents, about 75% myopic, myopic children. One myopic parent, about 40%. No myopic parents, about 25%. So there is a strong influence from the genes. The second major factor is related to the amount of outdoor activity versus inside near activity. Kids, people with the iPod, with a Game Boy, with a computer, focusing up near. And studies have shown very clearly here in Sydney that if you send the children out to play, they have a lower risk of myopia, even if they've got myopic parents. So there's a very good risk reduction factor in outdoor activity for children. So the idea that you can control myopia by adjusting the peripheral image in relationship to the retina is a great idea. About a quarter of the myopes in our society become myopic after the age of 17, when they go to university or when they go into further study. So between 17 and 27, their myopia appears and starts to increase. So we're not just talking about six to 12 year old children, we're talking about six to 26. A very, very strong, highly statistically significant indication from our studies that we're on the right track, that we can do something serious about slowing the progress of myopia for the population at large, and it will make a difference in the long run to billions of people.